Welcome to the Quick Start Guide for Faceware Live Server. Live Server is a real-time facial tracking application that streams live tracking data from a camera or image sequence into one of Faceware's live client plugins for Unreal Engine 4, Autodesk Motion Builder, or Unity to create real-time facial animation. This brief tutorial is designed to get users up and running with Live Server so that they can begin streaming their live animation as quickly and painlessly as possible. You can see our knowledge base articles at support.facewaretech.com and other videos on the Faceware Technologies YouTube page for more detailed tutorials and descriptions of all the features Live Server has to offer, as well as information about how to integrate it with the Live Client plugins. After launching the software, the first step is to set up our camera and get the video source streaming into the Live Server application. Live Server is designed to work with many cameras, whether it's a Faceware head cam, a simple webcam, or even an image sequence. In most cases, the camera will be detected as soon as you launch the software, but if yours isn't, or if you wish to change to a different camera or image sequence, you can enter camera setup by clicking this camera icon on the toolbar. This will bring up the camera setup options. Once we have the camera settings open, we can go to the camera drop down menu and select the appropriate camera or image sequence. If you have more than one camera, they should all be listed here in the drop down. Once you've done that, go into camera controls where you can set your frame rate and resolution as appropriate. Our next step is face calibration. You can see that as soon as the software detected a face in the video stream, it begins to track. Though because we haven't calibrated, it's not perfectly accurate. To address this, we're first going to open up the face calibration menu by clicking this icon on the toolbar. In the face tracking model drop down here, you can see that we have two models, one for head cam and one for static cams. This will tell the software exactly what type of camera you're using, whether it's a head-mounted camera or a stationary camera. You should select the model that corresponds to your type of camera for the best tracking results possible. The next part is the actual calibration. The tracking is already decent, but to get a really rock-solid track and make sure the quality is as good as possible, we need to calibrate the software to the particular actor's face. This serves the dual purpose of ensuring the live server knows exactly where the face is in the frame and to let it know what the actor's neutral face looks like, as that is the basis for the shapes that it will stream into Live Client. Calibration is very fast, taking one button click and only about a second of processing time. You can see that since we have not yet calibrated, there is this large button at the bottom of the camera feed telling us to do so. All that's required is that the actor make a neutral face towards the camera and press the button. By neutral, we mean that the actor is looking straight ahead with eyes open, brows relaxed, and mouth closed but relaxed. You'll typically notice the video feed pause for about a second in the viewport, and that's it. You know you've calibrated by looking at the bottom left of the viewport. There was a black X and the words not calibrated, but now that we have, it's a check mark and it says calibrated. One of the great features of Live Server is the incredibly fast one button calibration. It's also important to keep in mind that if you think you've calibrated improperly or would like to do so again, you can do so by opening the calibration window and pressing the calibrate face button. Now that we've calibrated, you can see how the tracking landmarks are really sticking to the actor's features, and there's a lot less jitter. The final step, we need to stream our data from Live Server into one of Faceware's Live Client plugins. Streaming is also very straightforward. You can see in the bottom left of the application that is currently indicating that we're not streaming, which is to say that the application is tracking the features, but the data isn't going anywhere useful. To stream the data out, we just need to set up our port number in this field at the top, and then press this icon. You'll see it and the indicator in the bottom left change to show that you're streaming. To stop, just press the icon again. That's all there is to it. Live Server does have numerous other features to let you fine tune your data, like face tracking models and animation tuning. But as I said at the beginning, this is just a quick guide to get you going. Check out our other videos on the Faceware Technologies YouTube page and our knowledge base at support.facewaretech.com for more tutorials.